Welcome back. I'm Dr. Chaps. Joined now at The Return in Washington, D.C. by my new friend, evangelist Rick Curry with rickcurry.org, or is it .com? It's .org. Okay. So what is, uh, what is your mission here today? Well, you know what? We really were excited about The Return, excited to come in and pray for awakening and transforming revival in America through repentance and restoration of the covenant promise of God. So you're an evangelist by trade, but uh, what does that mean? Well, uh, actually, when I was a young man first called into the ministry, I really felt like my calling was to do the work of an evangelist. So we've traveled all of our lives. Uh, sometime when I was pastoring, you know, I pastored for about 20 years, but we've always traveled. And uh, we've been traveling now full time, doing revivals, Bible conferences, crusades, that kind of thing. Uh, how many states or countries? Uh, all over this nation and uh, in about six or seven different nations that we've been in doing revivals, conferences, and crusades. And what is your message besides uh, what happened here at the return? We'll get to that in a second. But generally, when you're out there on the road, uh -huh. uh, probably missing your family, probably sacrificing uh, uh, other opportunities for livelihood, mm -hmm. it, it's lonely and it's not financially rewarding mm -hmm. to be an evangelist who preaches the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why do you do this and what is your message? Well, really our message is simply this. Uh, the in, My entire life in ministry, I've always believed that America's greatest awakening lays ahead of her and not behind her. Nice. I'm a student of history, so I love to study moves of God, awakenings and revivals of the past, but I believe that the greater one is yet to come. So strongly that that has really um, uh, taken charge of our lives and our ministry. And then uh, a number of years ago, I had a dream. And in the dream, I saw a flag in this dream that I had never seen before in my life. Never seen it, uh, never saw it in school, had no knowledge of it. As a matter of fact, I didn't even believe the flag was real. And the next morning, my wife said, look, I think we need to Google this flag. It may be real. And so when I Googled it, I, I could not believe it. But the flag is actually created in 1775 by George Washington, and it is the Washington's cruiser's flag, historically, more uh, modern, called the Appeal to Heaven flag. But I saw that flag in my dream. The one with the evergreen tree on it. That's absolutely right, evergreen tree with the uh, words and appeal to heaven on it. And uh, I never saw the dream in the, the flag in school. As a matter of fact, told the, the, the story all over the country, never met one person that, that learned about the flag uh, in school. But I saw it in a dream. I had sketched it out in my journal when my wife told me we needed to Google it. And yeah. so, but in that dream, it wasn't about the symbol of a flag, but it was about the sound of awakening when leaders come together in humility and believe God for a mighty move of the Spirit here in this nation and in other nations as well. So now you're here at The Return, a national day of prayer and repentance. Mm -hmm. uh, behind us is the Washington Monument with tens of thousands of people, uh, and they're all praying and, and singing and repenting. Is this also a fulfillment of that prophetic vision you've had? It, absolutely it was. As a matter of fact, when I was ministering and praying a little bit earlier, I referenced that because one of the things that I saw in this dream was uh, generations of leaders that were coming together for a cause greater than any one of us individually. And so I really believe that America's greatest awakening that's coming is not going to be driven on the backs of good services, it's not even gonna be personality driven. But I believe that the coming move of God is driven by the presence of God at work in the hearts and lives of ordinary men and women. And precisely what I saw in the dream was this convergence of generations, the convergence of nations coming together, like I said, for this cause greater than any one of us individually. So I believe it's a, a grassroots movement among the hearts of ordinary men and women. And, and there's so much division in our political culture, but all I see here today is unity. Everyone is together 
for one cause, and his name is Jesus Christ. Amen. And he's the great uniter. Amen. You know? Absolutely. And I wonder, there's somebody out there who, who, who they don't have that personally in their heart. And you know what to say. I wonder if you would speak into our camera for a minute and address that person. Sure. Thank you, Chaplain, for this opportunity. And we love and appreciate what you guys are doing. But let me just encourage you today, no matter where you are, no matter what your background or circumstance may be, we want you to know that there is a place for you in this great awakening. And we believe today that, as Chaplain has said, the Lord Jesus Christ is the great unifier. He's the great equalizer of mankind. And so we celebrate that today, and we invite you and encourage you to find your place in this great move of God. Amen. Would you lead a special somebody in the audience needs to be led in a prayer? Could you offer a word of prayer? Sure, let's pray together. So Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we bless and thank you for every viewer, everyone who watches this, on whatever platform you may be viewing it. We pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that name that is above every name, that the God of all peace may come and minister to you right now the fullness of joy, the fullness of peace, and the fullness of life. May it be manifest in your heart today and in your family. And we pray for the blessing of the Lord to overtake you and your family in these days. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Our guest has been Evangelist Rick Curry. His website, rickcurry.org. Thank you, sir, for coming on the program. Thank you, Chaplain, so much. All right. Our website is prayinjesusname.org. Again, that's prayinjesusname.org. Please sign up for our free email alerts. And you can also subscribe to up to 15 online platforms to watch this program on your smartphone, uh, whether it's a, a, an iPhone or a, or a PC phone, uh, an Android. You can subscribe and get these daily newscasts when you visit PrayInJesusName.org. Please donate when you visit. Help us bring you these programs. And call us if you need prayer today. And say, I just prayed with that man on TV. I want to know what's going on. We'll send you some welcoming information. Call us at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. If you need prayer, call us now. We'll see you next time. Dr. Chaps need your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray in Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.